Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We are talking about what happened with this market today. Kind of a quiet Monday, which is what we expected. And prices kind of went up, which is also what we talked about yesterday on the Market Outlook video and on the video that went up on uh, Sunday afternoon as well. Just talking about since there's not a lot going on on Mondays, and since a Sunday night, Monday time frame is a very popular time for a lot of people on this game to buy cards, what is going to happen? We, we thought the market was going to rise, and in a lot of areas, it did. Now, there was some more panic on early Monday morning with the squad battle rewards and the supply, and we'll talk about that in a second, but it was kind of crazy to see some of these cards that got bought back up, and it's honestly just like clockwork every single week. No matter what's happening, we always have some sort of rise on Monday. So there was a, lot of, there was a few cards that I bought last night. Uh, and I'll show you those in a second. And there's some good flips and a lot of trading opportunities right now in this market. Even though we're kind of in a market crash, there's plenty of ways to make coins. Same stuff that we've been talking about, but you can now kind of see it happen and kind of trust that those movements are going to happen, even though the market's so low and not a lot of people might be in, in, interested in buying teams. It just goes to show that you can see some cards fluctuate. So without further ado, let's head over to Footbin and take a look at some graphs. Marcus Rashford, right? This guy rewards... Last night was squad battle rewards. So Sunday night rewards actually hit about right here. It was like 1 a.m. UK time or midnight UK time. And the sell-off kind of kept going until the morning. Now, what I, what happens sometimes is what you see is that people wake up in the UK and they wake up their squad battle rewards. They open them uh, early in the morning, right? They don't open them like at night when they actually drop. They wait until the morning. And a lot of times what you see on Sundays is you can either buy here when the rewards drop or a little bit later. But last night and yesterday, the case was if you waited until later, you saw a lot of cards get really low around, around this midday UK time frame, And then in the afternoon and into the evening, a lot of this stuff rebounded up uh, because some stuff just got crazy low. The supply kind of stopped and people were like, what am I going to do in FIFA today, right? We're going to do objectives, maybe buy my team because some of the stuff is so cheap or just do some rivals. Like it's a, some people today were just like, what do I do, right? And they just bought cards because sometimes people just buy cards when they're when they're bored, right? So Rash went 198 all the way up to 230. And right now he's still kind of chilling at 223. But this happened with cards across the board. Gold cards like Sun and Rashford, the really, really hyped and meta items. Gold Sun was down at 87K. He went all the way back up to almost 100K where he kind of is right now. Uh, some of these other high tier items, right? Like uh, Neymar today. Neymar actually dipped under a million coins just for a short amount of time on the the PlayStation. He was 995, 989, and then it bounced back up over a million where he kind of is now. So that kind of time frame that, you know, that early Monday morning, late uh, Sunday night with Squad Battle Rewards time frame was very profitable this week. It happened with Informs as well. We take a look at some of these cards. Promes was somebody who I bought last night around rewards at about 240k thinking that he was too low but what ended up happening is i bought him right here and he just kept going he went all the way down to 228 before rebounding to about 250 today and he did a lot better on the xbox actually he had 228 on the xbox and went all the way up to 272 so uh, rarity he looks like he's still about 270 on the xbox as well this is just kind of an undercut so rarity kind of played in as a factor today uh, on this promise card uh, and some of the other road to the finals were bouncing around a decent amount today but it was a lot of gold cards and a lot of the informs as well now one thing i want to also mention is ones to watch items now there's multiple ones to watch cards that could be in this week's team of the week and vidal is one of those that is almost a guarantee this guy had two goals from a center mid position with an inform he's going to look cracked uh, a lot of people were buying this card pre-game at 35k, but as you can see, even after the games, even the game has been over and he's he, technically he's had the inform worthy performance. Uh, he's down at 64,000 coins and just keep rising, just keeps rising. And I think the reason why this guy just keeps rising, and he's up at 80,000 coins now, is because people are knowing they're seeing like, hey, what this card is going to look like when he actually does get the inform. Uh, you put it, you put a plus two upgrade on this guy and he's going to look pretty freaking sick, especially with the Syria objective cards and SBC cards that we have had come out. More people might be apt to running a Syria squad right now with, of course, this guy being with an inform 85, he's going to be probably close to 70 pace, uh, maybe like 68 or 69 pace. And he's going to be club 80 
and around the rest of the card. That's going to be a really saucy looking item. So I think there's a lot of people as they get kicked out of foot that are kind of interested in, in that card. Some other ones to watch is that could get in team of the week. People are looking at Osimen. And some of the stuff you just kind of had to sell in the hype, right? Hakimi was like 21,000 coins. Now he's up to 30. I haven't seen Gareth Bale. I don't know where that card is at, at the moment. Uh, let's go look at Gareth Bale really fast because people were investing in this card because they thought he might have an outside, outside shot to get in. I don't think he's going to get in team of the week. Uh, but he is up not he's about up, he's up about 10k yeah he was 215 during the game went down to the 190s and he's a, he's about up 10,000 coins so if you bought this card in the low 190s you're kind of chilling uh, I would wait for this to rise back up into probably Tuesday Wednesday before team of the week does come out I'm gonna flip the capture challenge I'll bring you along with me to watch boom let's go GG's 2.6 seconds. We don't go for speed on those anymore. We go for accuracy because people are getting banned left, right, and center on some of those cards. So I make sure to try to be careful about it. But again, it was just interesting to see some of the cards that moved up today as well. Let's look at some out of packs cards that moved up today with people just investing because there really wasn't that much to do. And this is something that I talked about as well um, yesterday and on the weekend was the fact that people are going to have coins in the top left of their screen, they're going to be liquid, they've sold their teams, that's going to make people interested in investing and make people want to buy cards because they're just, they're just not going to have that much to do. There's going to be a select group of people on this game that want to make coins, so they're going to look to these opportunities. And you saw some of these cards rise even further again today. Alfonso Davies and some of the Road to the Final cards from set one really took a, uh, a boost up in price. As people know, these are out of packs. Champions League is still a couple weeks away. Um, actually, no, Champions League is eight days away or seven days away, one week from today on Tuesday. So that's just more reasoning for people to buy these cards because those games are upcoming. Now, the upgrades aren't going to happen until December, but there's hype around Champions League and some of these cards will rise. But Davies is up. Um, he was like 475 at his absolute lowest. He's now 537. Rashford is almost a million coins after being down in like the 930,000 coin range. He's about to be a mil. Yeah, 997 right there. Zakaria, who we just looked at, is up about 20K. Griezmann's up 30K. Klosterman's up 40K. Uh, and then one interesting price I'm seeing right now is Salah. I'm not quite sure what's happening with Salah. Is this, uh, was this like a snipe? 129 for Mohamed Salah. This is actually down a decent amount. I'm not entirely sure what is up with this, but this is kind of going the opposite of all the other ones. And this might be some sort of a little flip scenario you might be able to see here because it looks like Salah was selling in the 137, 138 range um, at both Monday and on Sunday. So maybe this is some kind of a deal if you caught an undercut at like, um, let's see how much supply we have at like 138. Uh, maybe if you caught an undercut on one of these. Oh yeah, if you caught an undercut on one of these cards like this one at 125, you could snag that on bid and probably sell it for around the range of like a 136 or a 135 especially heading into this next week. So there's just a lot of fluctuations that are going on right now as well. Icons, perfect example of icons today. I actually flipped one myself in the little bit of time that I had to trade today. I bought this Roberto Carlos at 460,000 coins. Now it's definitely not a huge flip, um, but it's just a couple, you know, like 10, 15K maybe after tax. Uh, and he actually went higher. I could have sold him for about 510, maybe even 520. There are a lot of icons that I was watching today that went up in price from the midday when I was keeping my eyes on him, right? Owen was 500K flat. He did go back up to 550. He's 550 right now uh, at the moment. Schweinsteiger was down in the 720s. I think he's 760, 770 right now. Um, Balak, this baby Balak that I was watching was 500K. He's back in the 550 range, 528. Oh, there's some undercuts still. Um, I'm gonna watch that one at 500 because I think I might be able to flip that. But I saw a lot of icons today that were really, really low in the morning and they kind of transitioned upwards into the day. We can actually look at the index icon to kind of show this uh, once again. Just kind of like with the gold cards and with the out of pack specials, there was a low time and it was very low, kind of in that morning UK and a lot of stuff did bounce back. Uh, up in price. Now, some of the stuff is interesting. It's still kind of low. It says Roberto Carlos is low again, the card that I was just talking about and flipped. Uh, and I want to show you a couple other cards too. And I've mentioned this many times and you guys know this, but these rule breakers are very, very 
very rare, and they fluctuate a ton. This morning when I woke up, Marco Royce was 370,000 coins. I bought one literally right here. Uh, and I was a little bit scared. I was like, what's going on with Royce? So I listed it at like 407 and I got the sale, but I could have held on longer and got an even better sale. So I definitely kind of choked on that one. But a lot of these guys are up, right? Lukaku was 335. Uh, he is up. Van Anholt was 180. Opara last night, I shouted that uh, on the YouTube video. He was 36,000 coins. He's back up. Um, Teixeira was in the 280s. He is up. Let's take a look at Rule Breakers team number one. Laporte is 465, so he's up a little bit. Kamara is up a smidge. Nangolan is up a decent amount. Mertens is still kind of low, and Llorente is up a little bit too. I've also got my Dumfries that are chilling. I still have 15 of those at 20K or under. And that one I think is going to continually keep rising up. I'm planning on holding that kind of card for a little bit, but... Just keep an eye on some of these really meta cards because they're going to continue to fluctuate up and down. Uh, you know, we were looking at some of the popular players on Footpin here just a second ago, and I saw uh, St. Maximin was near the top here. He was like 300K earlier today um, on, yeah, he was 292 and is now back up to 330. So just kind of watch out for these cards because they are going to continue fluctuating. Now, I don't know what sort of content we could see today on Tuesday that would make things crash. It's not a Champions League week. Um, so we're not going to have any sort of champions league content, but maybe some sort of like league SBC or another one of those objectives could come out today. Now, of course, we're always looking for tradable pack supply, and that is something that is interesting that we could follow on this game, um, that could affect the market a little bit for maybe some of these road to the final cards that are in packs. And I guess one final note that I will make and something that is uh, interesting to note is that. Uh, the set one of the Europa League Road to the Final items, these guys are going out of packs today on Tuesday. I don't know if it says in the menu, but these guys last week on Tuesday, I think. Yeah, it was Tuesday, I believe. Um, Felipe Anderson, Objectives, Correa, Team Week 7. So, new, new, yeah. All right, so the Team 1 cards are... Going to be out of packs, I believe it is today. So in Diddy, that means in Diddy Abamyang. Uh, let me take a look at who exactly that is again. In Diddy Abamyang and Diaby, Bruno Perez, and Renato Sanchez. So this Renato card is still kind of chilling. He's not like that high. He's been in the 570s. I know this is a live item, um, but since it's got, you know, the live upgrading potential, there is probably going to be some people that really want to get on this card. He's 592 right now. Just keep an eye on this because it is going out of packs today. So if this is something you're interested in, if there's any panic, um, his inform is still 220. But since it's the live item, they have potential to keep going. Just note that these cards are going out of packs today. So again, you can still trade with these cards. I know stuff is still kind of, you know, fluctuating up and down. It may seem a bit high right now, but like we looked at those icons, right? Roberto Carlos. I know that today, this 86 Roberto Carlos, even though he's down right now, it says on footbin, he was 460. I got him at a really low point earlier today. He was selling at 520,000 coins multiple times earlier today. So if I see this get back to 480, I'm probably going to snag that because I know I might be able to sell it in like the 520 range. Just find cards like that that fluctuate up and down on the daily for you. One of those for me was that Royce card and Holland. Maybe I just like flipping um, Dortmund cards, but... Erling Holland fluctuates between like 130 and 140 all the time. Like you'll see this guy pop at like 131 or 132, which is perfect for a flip in like the 140 to 147 range. Um, maybe more towards 147, of course. But catch, catch this guy on bids, right? You can see right here, three minutes left, a 131 bid. Find a couple cards like that that work for you on this game. They don't even have to be super meta or super popular. Just look through some past Team of the Weekend forums. Uh, some guy that's really slept on a lot, or one guy that's really slept on a lot that probably fluctuates a decent amount is Serge Nabry, right? Very cheap, a good card in a good position though. And he's only like what, like 30,000 coins? I think that's pretty cheap. So just kind of watch out for cards like that. Um, one other thing that I heard about today, and this might be related to the content that we see today on Tuesday, somebody mentioned that there was a, um, a MLS, there was the award winner card design was in here. Uh, and I just looked a minute ago and I didn't see it, but somebody on Twitter today, I think it was actually, let me try to find the sweep because I'm pretty sure somebody, like it was a big content creator that tweeted this out today. Uh, a picture of a special quality filter. Um, yeah, it was Nick 28T. So there's a, look at this right here, boys. 
I don't know if we're getting league SBCs today, but this is on his stream. And if he, if this is a troll, uh, then then I'm I'm in the mud. But this looks pretty real to me. So I believe there was that squad building challenge and then also the award winner. So I know MLS player of the year and I think the Swedish league player of the year could be coming out as an SBC. We usually get those early on around this time. But if we got league SBCs today as well, that would be pretty cool. So possibly if there is league SBCs coming, that could mean some tradable supply for the market. So we'll just watch and see if that does come out today. That could be pretty interesting. Maybe a guy like Rashford and Sun and those meta players that rose up a bit could drop back down uh, and then maybe another potential to rise later on in this week. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.